In this video, I'll be showing how to delete a WordPress post or how to modify a WordPress post. So for example, these are the two posts I have on my website. This is the first one. This is a new post and this is my new post. Then hello world. So these are the two posts I have. So this hello world post, I don't need it again. So I'll be showing you how to delete it. That means remove it from my website completely. Then the first one, this is my new post. I will only be modifying it. That means probably modify the title or modify the content of the post. So let me come to the admin panel. So in the admin panel, in all posts, I am going to see the list of them, of all the posts I have. So this Hello World post, I don't need it again. So what I can do is just click the trash link. So clicking trash, that means it will be removed from my from the from my website. So if I refresh the page now, you can now see that the post is no longer available. For example, if I if I discover that this post, this hello world post should not have been deleted, it is still going to be in the trash bin. So I, I can just come to the trash. So clicking trash, the post is still here. So as the post is still here, and I still need it. So I just need to click restore. So clicking restore, it will be removed from the trash bin and be placed in the published panel. So if I come back to my website and I refresh the page, you discover that the website, the, the post is back. So because I don't need it, so let me just remove it. So I now come to trash. So because I want to remove it completely so that it does not continue to occupy space on my database. So what I can just do is to delete it permanently. So after deleting it permanently, it can no longer be restored. So that means the post is gone forever. So let me now come back to the list of posts I have. So this is my new post. So if I discover that this is a post that I just need to edit, probably to edit only the title and the slog, what I can just do is to click the quick edit. So clicking the quick edit, I can just do whatever edit I want to do here. For example, instead of this is my new post, I can just put something like a new post. A new post. So the slog which is just like the URL. So we have a new post. So I can also modify the dates that I want the post to be published. So if everything is okay, I can also change the category. So if everything is okay as I want, I can now click update. So after updating, if I come back to my website and I refresh the page, you now discover that it has changed, the, the title of the post has changed. Now, if I, what I want to do is not really the title, but I want to really have a new content, that means modify the content, reduce the content, the body of the post, or even add to the body of the post. So what I can do is to come back, instead of, clicking quick edit, I need to choose edit. So we have here edit. So I can now add to the content. Okay. So I have, so let me just add some things. Okay, so I have added to, to the post. So after the addition, I need to click update. So the post has updated. So let me just come back to my website and view. So you can now see that it has, the additions I made have been added. So if I go to the post now, 
So that means you can see that everything is now in order. So I can see that you can see that people can also leave comments because I I chose the option for the post to receive comments of readers. Okay, so that is just how to delete a post or modify a WordPress post.